Hey guys, welcome back. Are you ready to investigate what I assume is the god of the Mr. Handy people? He is made manifest on our mortal plane to reign doom in the form of snarky yet witty commentary and also probably cleaning supplies. At least that's what I'm expecting after having seen him. Oh, it's closed? Is it really though? Is it really closed? Yeah, this is General Atomics stuff. I knew it would be. So that's the General Atomics. Galleria, and it's closed, and they don't want suspicious behavior. Well, I'm not suspicious. I am. Uh, I'm an innocent. The director has sanctioned the use of lethal force against Galleria. You must be our new supervisor. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's me. Uh, yes. Yes. That's right. <clears throat> Splendid. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to your new assignment. Thanks. Once you've had a chance to get settled in, you should report to the director. His office is located in the statue in the center of the plaza. The Galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. So am I permitted on the grounds now because I said I was a supervisor? And I'm so bummed that that's just a statue. I wanted it to be like the whole dude. Can you tell me more about the director? Who's the director? General Atomics Patented Director Management System, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously, without the need for human intervention. Oh, I bet Codsworth would like that. Why are you guys closed? Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. I mean, if they're supposed to operate autonomously with no humans at all, then there's no reason they need to be closed right now, right? What is this place exactly even? What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow today. Oh, cute. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. Oh yeah, Codsworth would totally love this. Thank you. That's all. Very well. Enjoy your visit. Well, I mean, it's not really much of a visit if I'm the supervisor, right? Okay, well, I kind of want to bring Codsworth along for this, so maybe we won't actually do this right now, but I want to... But I want to look around. So this place is Madden's, and it says it's a boxing gym? Does it really say that? Yes. Boxers trained daily. Wow. Mr. Handy's teaching you how to box. That's cool. General Atomic Outlet. Handy Eats. Back Alley Bolin. <laughs> oh, and this is how you would go up to talk to the director, right? Well, I mean... I don't know. I just think Codsworth would like this. Maybe? Unless he wouldn't. But why wouldn't he? Be on the lookout for thieves. So here is Fallon's department store. Hey, I heard that they're responsible for backing the the races in uh, Easy City Downs. Check it out. I remembered the name. <laughs> and then this is uh. I can't really read that. I think I think it's a bakery. Number 13. And then there's a Slocum Joe's. So that's a cute little shopping center. I think they're going to have to wait a little bit longer for their supervisor. I mean, it's only been 200 years. I can be later to work than that, right? <laughs> right? Uh, and then I kind of wonder, like, did our character come here with her hubby or something when she was, uh, you know, back in the day? 
It's not that far from home. We totally could have made a day trip over to this place. Well, that's really cute and all, but I, I do think I want to bring Codsworth in case he would like it. So what's our next move? We could discover this lake. What's beyond this lake? All kinds of stuff. I could see those buildings in the distance and it made me curious. But, you know, if we're going to talk about stuff in the distance, we could just go back to Cambridge. I'm sure there's more to look at. Like, look how big this place is. And we could actually think about maybe crossing that bridge into Diamond City. That could, that could maybe be a thing. Uh, I'm not willing to bet that Ness is okay with me yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. So she's gonna she's gonna wait let's go back to Cambridge I was having fun looking around in Cambridge and I definitely know that there's more to see so I'll just go back down here for the moment I do kind of wonder what the director wants to do I bet we could get the place up and running somehow like if we work with him because we're the supervisor and he's the director and maybe we can get the place going again because it's supposed to be all automated anyway so it's not like they need me to stay there. I probably just need to fix a few things. And that would be very happy. And Codsworth would totally like it. I really think so. So where do we want to go? Where do we want to go here? Let's look at the very terrible uh, local map. It's just so bad. <laughs> it's just awful oh boy I don't know why I torture myself this way but I do we're not going to talk to paladin dance we're not going to maybe I should actually go to quests and turn that off so out of all the quests we've got going on right now I think I'm just going to turn on the one to go to diamond city because I can't really collect my pay I don't want to go in the galleria in case Codsworth would feel left out. I'm not sure I'm emotionally ready to see the glory of the glitch quarry again. So we won't do that. <laughs> we'll go this way. The polymer labs are down that way near the uh near the river. So we'll look around more up here in the town. I think I see a mole rat. What is he doing? Who is he eating? Oh no, they're rabid. They're even worse than your average mole rat. Well, I'll take the meat to cook it, but I don't think I need their teeth. Oh, a raider's note on this psycho here. And this is just a settler. Oh no, look, he's a courier. Oh no, or she. Awful. Terrible. Nuka Colas. Let's see what that note was about, and then I'll take those letters. So, what could this be about? Was he trying to give her the letter to have her deliver it, maybe? Maybe he wasn't even killing her. Maybe the mole rats just got the best of both of them. Raider's note. Word is that the gang up at National Park headquarters had a big score recently. If we can hit them hard enough, we could make off with the nice haul of cats. Okay, National Park Headquarters? Like, literally, where is that? <gasps> oh, we get to find out where it is! Map! Not this one, though. <laughs> National Park Headquarters. I don't know why I feel like that should be north. It's not north. Is it south? What? Where is it? Is it here somewhere? Like, no? Because we have the robotics building. We have Diamond City. We have the Easy City Downs. The Galleria we just found is up there. Well, where is it? Am I dumb? Well, the answer to that is yes, but in this particular instance, am I missing something? <sighs> okay. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Bottle cats. 
sweet roll, and I'll let her keep her postman outfit. So what are those letters? They're all just labeled letter. So letter. Corey, I'm telling you, man, this gig is top notch. This place is right near a road where we just grab caravans as they go by and we live like kings. It's a brewery. It's been packed with beer. How can you say no? I put in a good word for you, buddy. So just come here and tell them that I sent you. Oh, and I'm going by crankshaft now. They won't know who Melvin is. So that updated the map too, so we could see if there's a brewery. I did see the Beantown Brewery. Was it that the name of it? <laughs> Something like that? It was really funny. It definitely had beans in it. Joel, when the heck are you getting back? I can't believe that you left this stupid thing with me. A mole rat is not a pet. It chews on everything and then it craps all over the floor. This is not worth it. I don't care how much you're paying me. Get back here in 10 days or I swear I will butcher the thing and eat it. I am not kidding. Oh my. Last one. Ooh, this one has a a, <laughs> a special Jamaica plain seal on it. So that's fun. The treasures of the Jamaica plain. October 17th through the 23rd 2077. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Come see the fabulous treasures of the Jamaica Plain. This stunning exhibit will be on display for one week only before these priceless items are sealed away, never to be seen again. Bring the entire family to this once-in-a-lifetime event. Trash. I've been thinking about going after the treasure. Jesse's game. You in? So is that real treasure? Is that, like, real treasure? Let's look at the map. Ooh! The Beantown Brewery! <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Down here, we got the Jamaica Plain. Where's the other one, though? I don't see the National Park Place thing at all. I mean, I don't believe that it's something that I had already cleared out, but I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, well. And the mole rat man wasn't marked on the map either. How sad. That was me. Hello. I don't know where you are. Ooh. The Cambridge Campus Diner. Oh, boy. Not the liveliest little place, is it? <laughs> Hello, fellows. Hello, waitress. Are you waiting on your table? Good job. You need to do a better job bussing, though. Unless that's not your job. Where's your bus boy at? Is he falling down on the... Oh, he is falling down on the job. That silly bus boy. You're never going to get promoted if you act like this. Well, there's a single glowing fungi in the toilet. And I don't think I want that. Nothing else. We could get a coffee tin, but we won't. Let's see what's in the register. Only five dollars. They must have just opened up for the day. <laughs> Employees only. Hello. I'm a supervisor. But not for here. <laughs> uh. Well, there's not too much in here. And I don't think I need most of it. Oh, that saucepan must have been hot. It had an oven mitt on it. It's like eerily quiet in here too. Well, okay. Not really seeing anything in here that I want or need, but uh, you know, thanks for letting me come in anyway. Let's go out this other door and see what's over on this side. I did hear a guy. I'm assuming it's a raider person. So we'll be on the lookout for him. And gosh, there's so much to look at here. I'm glad I came back. I think he's over there near this hubris comics building. The raider, I mean. I see a blood bug. Does the blood bug see me? I don't think it does. Away with you. Hmm. 
I bet that creepy lantern on that table looks cool at night. What is this building up here? Is this a building we can discover? Nope. <laughs> I mean, it looks so cool. It has little stairs and everything. I mean, I guess, of course, it would. It's a random building, but it's all locked up. How about this one? Uh oh. I'm not so good at hitting them when they're on the move. Oh boy. They're fighting the blood bug for now, but yeah, they're gonna come for me. Hey guys! Hey guys, preemptive stimmy. Calm down. Oh man, the boys are just falling over themselves to get to me. This is the most popular I've ever been. <laughs> Sorry, I have to make it a little bit less terrible than it is, okay? I don't know how to do it, so this is all I've got. Oh my. I'm sorry. There we go. Does anybody have anything good? A spatula. He must have just been late on his way in to work at that diner then. Hello? You're not a terrible beast. Wait, Reese? Reese, hey! Hey, it's me, your girl. Wait, you're not him. The scribe, what? Good day to you, stranger. You look like someone that appreciates the utility of a good set of armor. Yeah? You just wander around selling armor to random people? Traveling's a good way to meet new people, as well as finding the lost, the broken, and the unusual. When I get tired of traveling, I settle down again for a while. But I'm in a wandering phase at the moment. So, were you interested in trading or not? Sure. I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. So if he's in a wandering phase right now, but he doesn't always wander, does that mean I could send him somewhere and set him up as a settlement member? Ooh. Okay. Field scribe armor. Is it bad if I want that? I just, I don't know. I just want that. I don't know why. And that's it. That's all he's got that I want, actually. Well, okay. All right. Uh, thank you, guy. How about I sell you something in return? I don't necessarily have a good use for this pistol. I don't need these laser ones either. Um, the hunting rifle? Perhaps he can have that? And I could sell him, you know, some Molotovs or something to get them out of the way. What else do we have that may be interesting for him? A leather leg. I do not want to sell him the armor. I just want to uh, fix it up. I'm surprised that the old torso we took off this armor is only worth 48 caps. That's kind of low, don't you think? Hmm. Okay, let's sell him some of the food we're lugging around. Because really that's what it's for. I'm, I'm probably not going to use it for much, but I, I can just sell it and then I don't have to worry about it. And then somebody else gets it. I mean, that has energy resist, so I guess I can keep one scorpion thing just in case. It's like, you know, just in case we need it. We're almost at his cap. I'll give him some dirty water and some dog food, bubble gum, blood bug stuff. Uh, oh, too much. I went one too far. Let's sell him just one of these at a time. I mean, I think that's close enough. That's close enough. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Good to see you again. Are you in a trading mood? 
I have a few pieces of armor you might be interested in. What do you mean, good to see me again? We just met, sir. What if we say maybe? Depends on what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. <laughs> As he turns to leave. Okay, bye. Bye bye. I'm gonna want to look around here some more before. This makes me so sad before we um, do anything else. But now I have that armor, and maybe that'll be pretty good to uh, wear. I do like that it's very brotherhoody. Hmm. This is kind of a boring little house. There's not really anything going on. I don't want to take the blue lamp. So I guess we'll go back outside. So there's a whole ton of raiders at that Beantown Brewery place, huh? I might head that way. I might actually head that way. But first I'm going to head this way because it looks like there's... Yep, a building we can find. And this is the... Uh, collegiate? Did I say that right? <laughs> administrative building and there's a red rocket I want to look at the red rocket first there's like some terrifying radiation thing right next to it it's so creepy out here even in the daytime hello oh look nice we can um repair this maybe because we did have one of the arms break on us didn't we Do I repair it from here? No? Oh, we don't have enough steel for it. Okay, let's uh, take something apart. Then we can get steel, like that wrench is probably steel, so is that one. I bet that hammer has a bit of steel in it. Probably steel? Is that good enough? We have to activate this. There we go. So how do I tell that to equip? Will it just auto equip basically? Okay, this doesn't have great health either. We'll repair that too. Maybe. All oh, right, and oh, I should have repaired that one first. It's even worse. <laughs> oh, yay! Cool! The special piece that we made is super healthy. It has like a ton of health. Well, I'm gonna get some more iron for this really quick. Hopefully there's no problem leaving it there. It's just for a minute while I look around. More wrenches. Awesome. That's what I needed. I hear gunshots outside, I'm pretty sure. Let's hurry up and get this fixed in case anything bad happens. It was the left leg that we really needed to fix. Uh, let's go ahead and repair the helmet too. Should I go ahead and do this? I don't have enough steel. Okay, that's all right. It also requires circuitry, I guess because it's so sophisticated, huh? Well, let's hurry back inside. I'm assuming the arm will just get equipped. If it doesn't, I'll just equip it while I'm in the thing. I think that should probably work. Uh, it's not equipped currently. So let's go down to it. Okay, there we go. I wonder if the raiders would have some power armor. Like, I wonder if we'd be able to take a piece for this. Okay, there's dead guys out here. Pikmin's calling card. What is that? Uh, okay, can you not read it from there? I guess you can't, unless you can't read it at all. Let's see what we can do with that. 
Uh, is it not a note? Because it should be up here under the P section. P for Pikmin. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just missed it. Pikmin was here. Find me if you dare. Oh. How does that update my map? How are we supposed to find Pikmin from a heart being drawn somewhere? Where? It said the map was updated, but I don't see anything new. I truly don't see anything new. Am I dumb? Oh, Pikmin's gallery. The answer was yes. The answer is always yes. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm gonna get him, maybe. Unless he's a friend, because he did kill raiders. That's a very friendly thing to do. All right. Oh, that's just a rad stack. I got a little scared. I just saw something large moving over there, you know, and I hadn't registered what it was yet. <laughs> Empty milk bottles, probably not. Okay, let's check out that administrative building first. And then maybe we'll just kind of go in the direction of Pikmin's and we'll get more of this stuff found out. I hope nobody in here offers me a job. I'm currently employed, technically, as a supervisor. So they're just going to have to get in line, you know? My resume is getting pretty good. Researcher, supervisor. Oh, yeah. Things are looking up for us. Oh, yeah. And lawyer. <laughs> Man, we're just so good. We're just capable of it all, aren't we? This is really eerie. At least the music came in. It was gonna be super creepy. What is that? That's just one of the, one of the newspapers. Oh, sweet. Quantum. Nothing in the cigarette machine. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlamp and uh, we can't look at that terminal at all. All right. Uh, absolute state of the women's room. This goes back out to Cambridge. Also, I did hear a strange little beeping sound effect for a second. I thought that was a okay. That's the that's the fusion core being low. So this has to load you into an exterior cell because. It's outside. Interesting. Is that that little house I went through a minute ago? Or an identical one? I think it's the one I went through. Well, why don't we try going around this way and seeing if we can check upstairs, huh? Oh, hi. Hi, guy. You have an overdue book? I guess I will return that for you. Ooh, look! A secret! <laughs> Is that all it had was a fork? Well, at least I have the lunchbox. I don't need to be sneaking. Nothing in here is scary. Yet. We can unlock this tool case. There we go. Sweet. I guess I'll take both of those things. Oh, I, I like that. You can actually see like that's the piece of this that fell down there. Okay, that's cool. That's nice attention to detail. Is it gonna be the same up here? Yep, there's a, a, a hole and you can see the piece that fell out of it. This goes to Cambridge too? Man, this place is really wrecked. Oh. Neat. Okay. Cool. We can survey our surroundings. It looks like maybe that would be a location to check out. We've already looked at the red rocket. We've looked in some of these houses. Not this totally deteriorated one, but... Nothing about it is screaming investigate me, so maybe it's nothing... Lots of boarded up houses. And yeah, I think I'll go back inside, finish investigating this place, and we will move down the road. Because I'm incredibly curious about Pikmin. 
I'm also incredibly curious about the director, but you know, we can make that happen with Codsworth. Another exterior cell, really? Oh. Well, is there anything at least good going on? That was kind of funny. I slid straight from a, you know, weapon stow animation into <laughs> opening the transfer function on that desk. Just from holding down R once. Kind of funny. That's literally it. Okay, I guess I will go back out this way. We'll just jump down. It's literally whatever. Come on! Yay! Okay, guys. Oh, is that our scribe man again? I think that was our scribe man again. Should I try to jump onto the roof of this house? Well, it wasn't a success, but I had fun doing it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's the one I investigated a minute ago. Hopefully he's safe kind of walking around. Maybe he was the voice I heard a minute ago over here. But I do still feel like probably that was a raider. And that was like right down there, I think. I'm going to go this way. This is the direction we fought those ghouls in. Actually, what is this? <gasps> Cathedral! Let me in, 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 let me in. Oh, creepy. Oh, there's like a guy. And ghouls? Oh, wow. Bunch of them. There we go. You're safe now. Oh, wait, are there more? He seems like he's still fighty. Surely he's not fighty for me, right? No, he is. <gasps> no! Father Gabe, why are you mad at me? I'm here to help you. No, I think I'm scared. Hey, stop. That's unnecessary, sir. I don't really want to fight him. He's a cute little priest man. I don't want to fight him. What's he doing up here? I mean, yeah, I'm offering you friendship. I don't know why you wouldn't. Do I really have to fight him? But you're named. Wait a minute, are you a ghoul? Hey, look, I'm friends. I'm friends. I don't want to kill him, especially now that I know he's a ghoul. Maybe I'll just leave him be. He's not gonna follow me outside, is he? I mean, he's like mad that I came in to begin with, right? Maybe those ghouls wouldn't have attacked him if I didn't come in. Cause he's ghoulified. So maybe I just ruined that guy's day. Whoopsie. Uh, oh well, I, I guess. I probably should have unlocked that other door out into the world. It was over here somewhere, yes? I can probably still go ahead and unlock it. I don't think I can pick this. Just kidding, it's an advanced lock. I didn't notice at the moment that it was so advanced. Because I'm not advanced enough to notice <laughs> if it's advanced. Well, that's kind of a bummer. I didn't even really get to enjoy the beautiful inside of the cathedral because it was so hazy and full of radiation. Whoa, hi! Ah, uh, there's another. Any more? Nah? Maybe there would be if I came into the cemetery. The last cemetery wasn't this ghoulie. <laughs> But then again, it wasn't next to a radioactive church, was it? So I wonder about Father Gabe. Is he like one of those 
Adam Childs or something, or does he just happen to be a ghoul? I'm kind of torn up about him attacking me. Maybe he's like a really bad guy. Maybe there's like uh, some some sort of deep lore or quest to deal with killing him. And I just don't know about it yet. What's going on over here? These are settlers. I don't know what I mean. I think there's still something here. Something in the form of me, maybe? Standing right here with a baseball bat. But, you know, I guess you can worry about that in a minute. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, boys, what's for dinner? I see you're cooking some. Just going to hurry a little. Try and get in here. Are you following me? How friendly of you. Thank you for the warm welcome. Maybe that's all that Gabe was up to as well. He was just giving me a, a friendly warm welcome to the ceremonies at the church. Hey, look. Steamer trunk. Okay, I think... I think I might throw something at it. We still have our grenades equipped from the uh, fun times <laughs> with the mutants. Well, that didn't hurt anybody that wasn't already hurt. How much you got left in you? I mean, quite a bit, to be honest. Would you like a taste? Would you like an example? Let's get rid of the turret first, because it does hurt. <laughs> that was funny. Have this. <laughs> get down, get funky. <laughs> Here we go. I'm still being shot from somewhere. But I'm sure I'll figure that out. Oh, look. There's where one of my grenades went boom. Did it leave a divot? Did it really? Oh, hi! I mean, you know, you should maybe be worried now. You're all alone. Where are you? Oh, wowee! You're not all alone! I really missed that headshot. How could I? Here we go. I don't really like it when they pop, though. But that's okay. Oh, there's another one still? Wait, what is that? Of course I want that. Hey, look, a terminal. I bet we could have used this to take out that, uh... Yeah, well. Deactivate the turret system. You know, the one that I already killed. There's also apparently a spotlight, but at this point, does it really matter? So where's the one person? Where's the spotlight? Oh, there it is. Show your face. Come on. Wait, you dare me to show my face? You're just trying to get a look at me, aren't you? Made a big mistake, rookie. <laughs> I called her out and now she's offended. Sorry, honey. You're going to have to do more than that. Hey, you're not showing your face either. You're wearing a sack over your head. And then there's another terminal in here, and I can hear something running, so I'm going to take advantage of this terminal to turn off that thing. Yay, it's dead! Not dead enough, though. <laughs> that hurt me a little, but whatever. 
Okay, I guess we're done here. I'm going to make use of their roasting spit. See, all I wanted really was for them to invite me to dinner. And yes, of course, we can't do crafting in this. I just forgot for a moment that I was contained within it. Let's make all of everything. All of everything, which isn't actually much, but that's fine. That's fine. I'll get back in my power armor and we will mosey. Still thinking about Father Gabe. I just feel kind of bad for him somehow. I don't know why. Let's look on the map. Am I heading the right direction? I mean, kind of. Oh! Man, I didn't see that one. Oh, I see this one, though. <laughs> and I think I see another one. Look at you, swimming. Can I help you not to be swimming? No, are you stuck? Oh, dear. You're very stuck. Poor thing. And look at this one. Can I loot you at all? Oh no. Ewie. Okay, I think these are just decorative. I'm not gonna mess with the decorative bodies. But I am gonna look at this. What is this? The plumber's secret? Oh, oh boy. We're gonna learn how to fix a sink. Hello! I was told there's a plumber here who can teach me a secret. I'm not seeing a whole lot of secret plumbers. There is a mannequin, though. Hello. Can you teach me? Oh. No. Okay. My bad. That probably would have hurt. Hey, check it out, guys. Another one. Whoa! It spit out a quantum at me. <laughs> nice. Um... I don't know that I can... No, I can't. I'll be able to pick this. Alright, that goes back out to Cambridge. Let's see about going upstairs. Hello. How did I miss? You're right in front of me. Ugh. Am I literally too tall to hit you with a baseball bat? I gotta be sneaking? Alright. Got some more buff out. That's always useful to have. Oh! Hello. You're a little taller. Maybe I could have reached you. Alright, let's go upstairs because I'm not seeing anything downstairs. Ah, tremendous value! I got it, though. <laughs> I did. Oh, I did. I got it. Proud of me. Those are probably going to fall down. And let's look with caution before we step. <laughs> okay, I, th I think that's everything in here. Maybe? Ah! Oh, money, 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 money! Money, 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 money? Oh, I don't have to pick them all up. I just get to pick one up. Man, I was kind of looking forward to scrambling like it was candy from a pinata, but... I mean, you know, it's easier for me if I don't have to scramble. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, I like them. I kind of want to trip them on purpose now just because I think they're funny. Uh, if I wasn't running from it, I would have tried to see the animation, see if all the coins pop out. Okay, well, these little houses on this stretch of road don't look like anything to investigate. Ooh, we got another military frequency. What is that? That's not the same one from the Paladins, is it? I mean, I guess it is because it was grayed out on the Pip-Boy. I was kind of hoping it would be a different group of Paladins. But, I mean, you know. One fusion core removed. That's fine. I have eight more. 
I feel like I'm not abusing them. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm being pretty, pretty, um, pretty good with them. Maybe? Can we go in that house? No, it looks boarded up. Let's go this way then, because we can definitely discover whatever that is. So what is this exactly? Watts Consumer Electronics. I mean, sure, I could, I could be talked into some electronics, probably. Not really any indicators outside of what to expect when we go inside, but that's okay. We'll just be ready. For any situation, including lack of floor. I'm gonna turn on the lamp. We can see a little bit better. Okay, there's a Protectron over there that looks upset. There's a Mr. Handy here that's not totally shut off. It's in like panic mode, but it's not shut off. Oh, hello. Yeah, that one was tall enough that I could hit him. Okie dokie, then... Hello? What's going on in here? Why is there a baseball glove in the toilet? You shouldn't put baseball gloves in the toilet. I'm kind of scared. This is a little... A little bit spooky. Even though nothing's trying to attack me, it's still just like somehow very unsettling up here. Well, let's check out this console. I bet it goes to the robots that are here. So, hello, what do we have here? Property of Watts Electronics, Boston Branch. Message 10777. Shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site and the amount that we've discussed. Don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robots that I'm getting for you. Malcolm. Safe control. Disengaged lock. Well, where's that safe at? I didn't notice a safe. And then there's disable military protocols. I'm pretty sure that's enable, not disable. I think we've just played ourselves, right? Because with the content of that message, I'm fairly sure that the guy intended something bad to go on. Well, maybe not. Perhaps the safe is downstairs. We can't get through that door because it has an advanced lock. I don't see a safe in this room. So maybe that's okay. Let's head downstairs. I don't know, everything being quiet and nothing fussing with me is just, it's making me nervous. It's really creepy, honestly. Here's another terminal. What does this one do? Open that door next to us, maybe? Remote door control. Open the door. And again, nothing bad has happened yet. So maybe nothing bad will happen? I don't know. I see you. Duct tape. Again, too short for me to swing at. Here we go. <laughs> uh, well, there's the safe, right? Looks really strong. Oh no, not the safe. Here's another terminal, though. Maybe this one affects that safe. Activate demo mode. No, thank you. What is server status? Offline. A note from management. 
Cooper, I don't understand what's so hard about all this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols on the robot shipment we got last night so that we can put them in demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know, computers, are you just like too busy reading comments and playing video games? Grow up, be a team player from Mr. Felix. I don't know, Mr. Felix sounds right. Mr. Felix sounds like he's not the one in the wrong here. Grow up. Be a team player. Just fix the robots, why don't you? Well, I don't think we're gonna be getting into that safe anytime soon. And then the safe that I opened... I don't know, was that computer rigged or hacked not to open the safe? I don't know, but I'm gonna leave now, I think. It was nice to visit you guys. Too bad. Nothing came of it. Honestly. And this puts us over here. Huh. There's a novice locked door behind this Protectron. Let's see if we can get in that. Yes. And I mean, I'm sure there's more to this place, but... Probably nothing that I can figure out. Not until we can open some locks and stuff, maybe. There's two hands in the sink. Was somebody washing their hands? <laughs> Probably. All right, well, I mean, I hate to just leave it like that though. Let's go back upstairs and reaccess the safe lock. Safe control. It says that the mechanism is unlocked. But then again, I think that could be messed up because obviously whenever we read this note from Cooper, the guy's just a little punk. So I don't think that he maybe did anything the way it was supposed to be done here. So maybe that just won't open that way. So until I'm able to open that and this door, there's just not a whole lot of hope for us. We could also uh, engage demo mode, but all the robots are gonna be in combat mode because he refused to disengage their combat protocols. So if I put on demo mode, they're not gonna be demoing nothing except like <laughs> ways in which I can die. So I think I'm gonna leave them alone. Maybe we'll get into that safe some other time. But uh, yeah, let's go out here and take a look at number one, how beautiful the sky is. And number two, the map. It seems like I'm doing a good job of making progress towards whoever the Pikmin is. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to for the moment. That's going to be my next big objective, I think. So uh, yeah, this is where we're going to leave it off. I hope you are in suspense as much as I am about literally everything that's gone on. And maybe we'll get some of this stuff figured out and solved pretty soon. <laughs> At least I hope so. Okay, well, I love you and I will see you soon. Be careful and take care of yourself. Till I see you again.